All right, so notepad design. Now, important to know that a notepad is just a very simple thing that we can produce in the next room on a various of many equipment. So having a notepad design is just allowing me to teach you equipment in the next room. It's a, it's a very simple product that you can start out with as far as graphic elements, design layout, and learning in position. So when you design a notepad, go to Google and type in notepad designs for, let's say, ideas, if you, if you need ideas, just to see what I'm talking about. Okay, these are, these are notepad ideas. And there's a ton of them. And this is also a good time to start exploring tools and importing stuff in from Inkscape, GIMP, and etc. and so forth into Scribus as a layout. So if I needed an element, this is how you work this. This challenge is simple. You make four notepads. And the notepads all have to be different. All four of them have to be different. And this gives me also a chance to start um, introducing you how to scan your own artwork. And once you learn how to scan your own artwork, you can then what? Incorporate it into the design. And we did that already. We did. I showed you how to do a frog and basically trace it around it to make a good outline. Um, I've shown you various line tools and stuff. There is a line tool in here if you need an insert line. But I want at least one graphic element somewhere here on all th four of these one graphic element I would like to have raster okay meaning produced in GIMP with a transparent background you've seen that already and you did that via the animal okay so certainly you can use your uh, grayscale uh, bird or whatever you produce I did a butterfly the next one would have to be your it could be your three color element you can hand draw one of these as an option just one so you can draw it out scan that in and clean up your artwork and then apply that here so what you do is when you get done you go insert image frame and you stay within the confines of your margin in this area and then you insert it here you can also insert smaller ones like let's say you develop a, a little tiny alligator or something just for an example you can insert it here like this and, and just go right click get image and you can also insert some lines Now, I will say that I, I'm not going to show you a whole lot here because I want to explore a little bit here. Um, so I'm going to make it kind of hard for you to do this. I, I don't believe in giving you all the answers. You know, certainly it wouldn't help you to you know start copying pasting elements in and trying to offset them. Okay, I think that's a good thing for you. And another thing is offsetting them using like the properties. So if you had, if I had taken this element right here and its Y position needs to change, you can see I can move this in a, a Y position. And this next one just needs to be offset a little bit. I can offset it numerically by a certain number. But I feel that that's important for you to explore ways or shortcuts around that how would you do that could you produce it all in Inkscape and then import it in so this challenge is challenging because I'm making you think more than showing you the step-by-step -step design process when you are done I want simply a notepad all these notepads all four of them graphic element some nature on them 
one has to be all raster as far as the element is concerned one all vector as far as the raster or as far as the element is concerned and one can be hand drawn and cleaned up and your choice but look around at the um, the different notepad designs you know get an idea but as far as the layout is concerned and if you you can come up with your own definitely but if you're new you might need this so I hope you enjoyed and oh absolutely not no copying any images from the internet you have to make sure that you draw all of them yes and nothing can be taken from the internet as far as graphics are concerned you have to draw all of them and if you can't draw um, yeah don't worry about it just produce something very very stylistic that's what we call it if a, if a person can't draw we stylize it <laughs> so I hope you enjoy the challenge and then when you're done you can move on to the next level